Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another designer shout out. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we've got a shout out to sixth grader Maddie. She was doing my flower project. As you can see, she solved the flower and the flower pot, which is pretty cool. But as she was having fun exploring, I got to show you what she solved next, and then we'll actually play with it for a second. I'll also, if you haven't seen this tutorial, I'll put it up above. It is one of my fastest ones. So we use duplicate and rotate to create things and Maddie came up with a strategy. First you can see she had her flowers. These are awesome. But on this one right here, check out those colors. So what this is, it is so slick. If I grab this yellow one and move it, there is a black one right underneath. If I do control Z and put it back, now whenever I orbit, we get that awesome flashing, which is just unbelievable did not know what was going to happen maddie was just exploring and made it happen super cool friends let's make our own really quickly and let me show you how of course the first step is to get a new design and then we're going to move down here we're going to find the tube we take the tube and we stretch it out and instead of 10 we make it two and press enter you can pick any color you want i'm going to go with a blue and then you click Control d and this is important once you do this rotation you don't touch it again now because we want to overlap them I'm gonna do 22.5 which was one click I'm gonna use the down arrow and I'm gonna move until they touch right here in the middle and this is important that you get to that spot notice I'm not touching the mouse I have rotated and I've nudged and now when I do control D that is memorized and they move exactly around each other now right there is where they turn into the next color so if I do Control D again, and I click on that one, I pick my other color, and I'm gonna go with University of Michigan colors. I do Control D on it again, find its rotation handle, and do that one 22 and a half click. And then I've gotta nudge down to the same spot. See that, how it lined up? Now just do my Control D all the way around. And we have just created the effect that Maddie taught us and any angle you move at it it looks absolutely awesome friends the moral of the story is play explore see what kind of cool things you can make maddie this is fabulous and thank you so much for taking time to share friends if you make something awesome like this don't forget you can share it with me by clicking on this button right here generate a link copy the link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram and gmail you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those options aren't available to you don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com i have got a page dedicated to tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons and down at the bottom there's the sweet built-in messaging tool you can click on this button fill in your information hit that send and reach out to me almost instantly Finally, friends, I want to say thanks again to Maddie. Oh my gosh, this was fantastic. I appreciate you exploring and taking time to share. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.